Like it just hurts my brain to even think about putting a dress on top of jeans. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? Today's video, I wanted to kind of take an idea that I've done in the past, which was thrifting seasonal fashion trends. I've done like thrifting winter fashion trends from like 2020, 2021 fall fashion trends. And kind of my whole purpose with those videos is to talk about fashion trends and also show that you can most likely find them at the thrift store. And when I used to make those videos, I would, in most cases not buy anything because I could try on the like fashion trends in the dressing rooms at the thrift store so I could kind of get my thoughts and feelings and then only purchase whatever I actually liked. Whereas now we are still unable to go into the dressing rooms at thrift stores. And so I've had to kind of change up the video style where I am actually purchasing the trends, whether it's at the thrift store or thread up. And as I was kind of getting ready for like doing winter fashion trends, like type of video, I just like, didn't really want to buy anything for it, mostly because a lot of the trends I just don't like. I just feel like it really defeats the purpose of me preaching to like thrift fashion trends if you like them, if I'm buying them just because they're a trend, just so I can show them and I don't actually like them. So I figured instead I would do like a sit down video talking about some winter 2021 fashion trends, the ones I am loving and the ones I am not loving. I guess kind of like an anti haul and also talking about the ones I do like, kind of how I am personally going to be wearing them. And I kind of wanna obviously say, if I say I don't like a certain trend or style, I am specifically talking about it on me literally wear whatever makes you happy now with fashion trends obviously there are a lot of negatives but there are a lot of clothing items in my closet that are now like staples in my wardrobe because they were a trend i tried them out and they like are my new go-to so i think there's definitely a time and a place and yeah it's gonna be kind of like a jumbled up video but i will be leaving like timestamps and everything to hopefully make this video be more organized i don't know <laughs> The first one is geometric pattern. It's all about like bold colors and shapes to create like standout prints. I do love in one of the inspiration photos like going with a matching print style. So whether it's like a two piece suit like pantsuit or even like a skirt suit, I think anytime you have two pieces in an outfit that are the same pattern, it just looks really like chic and cool. So I feel like taking off of this trend, you could go just for a pattern that you like. It doesn't have to be geometric patterns. I know for myself, I probably would go for like a plaid suit set. That's definitely on my thrift wish list. So that's kind of how I would probably interpret this for my personal like wardrobe and style, just because geometric shapes, I don't know. I really hated geometry. Um, I hated shapes in general in school when it came to like math stuff. So maybe it just puts me in a bad mood unless it's like the small polka dot tops or something or like stripes, anything other than that, like big polka dots, even that kind of like stresses me out. So I definitely will be opting out of this specific trend, but I understand how it can be like classy, especially with like a button up that has like a geometric like pattern and all that, but just not my jam. So Harper's Bazaar names this one Color Clash, and it's basically just wearing like bright neon colors, mixing them with different neon colors. And I don't like, you know, I, okay. I don't like neons personally. I just don't think they look good on me. I would much rather go for a pastel and even like mixing pastel colors. Neon colors just for me are like too loud. I do have the two like shiny pants that I guess would be considered neon, but I would only really style them with black and white. Maybe a pastel, like I could see maybe my orange like funky shiny pants with a white t-shirt and then my like pastel blue coat. Like I think that could work, but even that's kind of like going on the edge. And the only reason why I would put those two together is because orange and blue look really good together, but I would not put a neon blue coat within my neon orange pants. I feel like my friend Karina Gomez would look amazing in neons. Like she has that personality, she has that vibe. And so it totally makes sense for her. And I think you can have a lot of fun with it with like color blocking neon colors. Like that would be super fun. And I think would look super amazing. Just personally, I don't think on me. Okay, this one, I like my mouth 
mouth dropped the fact that this would be a trend again which is basically styling skirts and dresses on top of pants. I just like, I can't, like it just reminds me of being a child in elementary school because I would wear that style all of the time. Like all the Disney stars did it, like Ashley Tisdale. And I think it just reminds me of a time I do not want to go back to. So definitely a personal thing to me. I think there are ways, like if you are going for a dress that's sheer and putting it on top of jeans, maybe like even black leather pants, like I think that could look cool. Like it just hurts my brain to even think about putting a dress on top of jeans. And they didn't specifically say that. They were talking about like flared pants to give like an elegant vibe to the outfit. And so I can understand the idea of looking at somebody's outfit and it has like different like dimensions because they're wearing a dress over flared pants and maybe some like super high heels or just something like that. Like I totally get it. I think again, totally works probably for other people, but for me, Mm. The next trend I've been seeing a bunch for winter 2021 is leather set. So like a suit set, but it's leather and in all of the same color. Or if you have a leather dress, putting it with leather like knee high boots. I'm actually kind of down with this trend. The only like thing I don't love about it is like just wearing like one tone of a color, especially in leather. So I feel like for me, I would want to style it with like a pastel leather or just like a colored leather versus going for like a full black leather look, which personally is what I have in my wardrobe. And so it's the only way I could like recreate this trend. Really wouldn't be a set though. I could put, I have like some faux leather pants with then my like leather blazer, but that's not really a set. And I just personally don't really love pairing my leather pants with my leather blazer. Like I'd rather go for a different like material, which I did talk about in Wednesday's video when it comes to how I kind of put together an outfit. So I would love to find a like suit set in leather and like a pastel. I don't think it'll ever happen to be honest. Another trend that I actually do like, like I think it is really cool. I just, I, number one, I don't own, but also number two, I don't know how I could really include it in my wardrobe. Like I know it would just be one of those things I wear once and that's like kind of it. Again, mainly because of where I live and because it's not that cold, which is lawn gloves. Now it specifically says lawn leather gloves, but honestly, I'm going to take that and make it my own by saying like just long gloves in general because I definitely don't think I would ever wear long leather gloves like that feels like it would be really uncomfortable but maybe it would be good especially if there's like snow and stuff again only been in the snow once so obviously I don't know how I would even prepare for that but I think long gloves honestly are really cool when they make sense of the outfit so my friend Katie from Steal the Spotlight includes these like lace gloves and so it's not really the same thing but it's kind of the same idea and I feel like that would be something I would probably do versus like proper long gloves for the actual winter if they were lace and then you have like a lacy top and you kind of go that that type of route, I think that would be really, really cute. The next trend is fur or just like, I mean, I think it can be faux fur. It doesn't say, but I'm gonna just say faux fur, like jackets and faux fur, just like everything. And I, I mean, it makes sense winter, it's cold, you know, faux fur and like that kind of style is very warm. I'm not in love with like even faux fur jackets. They don't look very flattering on me. They make me feel like I'm trying too hard personally because they don't really match anything in my wardrobe. So like, it just doesn't make sense. But I've seen some really beautiful ones. Like I think um, Ashley from Best Dress, she had this like blue dark colored. I don't know if it was real fur or faux fur, but the way that she styled it was absolutely beautiful. So like that type of coat I think is amazing. And if I live somewhere cold, I I'm, I'm, would probably own one, but I'm definitely more of a leather denim coat and jacket type of person. I do have like a puffy, like faux shearling jacket that I absolutely love. And it keeps me really, really warm. So I definitely understand the appeal of like a faux fur jacket. But for me, I just it just doesn't make sense for me to own. But the thrift store literally has so many like faux fur and fur jackets. So definitely recommend checking out the thrift store. This trend is called incognito mode. And 
Again, if you live somewhere cold, I think it definitely makes sense because you're like basically covering your entire body. Personally, I really hate hoods. Like they just flatten my head and my head just looks really odd. And even like head scarves, like I just don't feel like they flatter my face. I'm not really gonna spend too much time on this because I just, I don't like it and it doesn't go with my style. Although it does say an oversized hoodie, which like I definitely, love a good loose fitting crew neck and hoodie. This trend I am the most excited about. It's denim. Like literally 2018, 2019 Alexa is screaming because you guys know I love denim. I mean, I went through a pretty hardcore denim jacket. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a phase because it's not a phase. I still wear all of the denim jackets that I thrifted back then. So I feel like I have the wardrobe to recreate this trend and I don't even think it's a trend for me. Like I just wear a bunch of denim all the time. And it talks about like mixing in different washes of denim, which is literally my favorite thing. Like going for a darker denim on the bottom and a lighter denim on top. And I do also really love that it's not talking about like a specific type of jean, like the type of jean pants you should be wearing or like the specific type of jean jacket or something like that. Like it just says head to toe, denim so i feel like this specific trend is really easy for anyone's style if you like denim you can decide what kind of like type of jeans do i like do i like straight leg do i like skinny jeans do i like flare jeans and then the same thing with the denim jacket do you like it cropped do you like it loose do you want to go for overalls like i feel like this one because it's not very specific it's kind of just open and i love that i understand that most trends are supposed to be specific because that's the whole idea they want you to specifically wear something so they can like sell that specific style because they're telling you to wear it and all that jazz. Whereas with this, it's so open that like, again, I just feel like most people probably own, a, they definitely don't own as much denim as I own, but I feel like if you own a denim jacket and you own jeans, like you're trendy, which obviously is not the goal in life. Like your goal is not to dress trendy, but I just think it's something like fun. Okay, I completely forgot to talk about this next trend and like I have to talk about this next trend, which are onesies. Apparently it's a winter 2021 fashion trend. And the thing is, I just cannot take the idea of like a onesie and not think of it being like a working out type of thing. Maybe if you put heels or it's like an interesting onesie, like on the one of the websites where I found this trend, the like runway outfits obviously looked really cool and like I could understand, but I still don't think I would ever be able to put it on my body. Like just the idea of putting a skin tight onesie makes me feel like a freaking noodle. Maybe I have a personal issue, I do not know. I think it's just me to be honest. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me just kind of like sitting here talking about it. Let me know in the comments right down below which winter 2021 fashion trend you are loving. And if you would like to see my face again, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. I am trying to hit 300K by the end of the year because I really want to get a sun tattoo for hitting 300K. Like I already want to get the tattoo, but I was like, oh my gosh, what if I waited till I hit 300K? So I would really appreciate it um, if you did subscribe and of course if you'd like to keep up to date with me during the week then you can follow me on instagram alex and 83 and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you have a super sunny sunday enjoy life be happy and i'll love you lots bye